Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the Jax UFC Antonio Minotauro Rodrigo Nogueira. Man, that was a mouthful. Uh, and uh, fortunately, they shortened his name to Minotauro Nogueira. Obviously, uh, one of the two Nogueira twins, uh, along with his brother, who fights at light heavyweight. Really, really cool. One of my favorite uh, MMA fighters, really, of all time. Loved watching this guy in Pride uh, dominate as the Pride heavyweight champion. Uh, now, I'm doing this review now. Normally, I do my reviews uh, after a UFC event. Uh, but the reason I'm doing it now is mainly because um, I've got two Minotaro Nogueira figures that I want to re review for you guys. The first one is obviously this one with his UFC appearance. And the second one, of course, is uh, the much rarer, much better uh, Pride Special Edition Nogueira figure, which I'm very, very excited to open up. But uh, for now, we'll take a look at the uh, UFC Nogueira. One thing that bugs me a little bit about this is it does say he's from UFC 81 at the top there. Those that will remember his fight against um, Tim Sylvia for the interim heavyweight title will know that he didn't have the grey trunks. He, in fact, had the uh, army camo type trunks. This is actually his attire from UFC 73 where he fought um, Heath Herring in uh, what was actually a really, really awesome, awesome fight. Uh, at the bottom there, you see him locking in that tight, tight guillotine choke that he won the uh, interim heavyweight championship uh, with. So really, really cool figure. Not much else in the way of packaging. Obviously, we see he's from Brazil. Uh, uh, much like Fabricio Verdum, a uh, fighter from another organization who came into the UFC and uh, and did really, really well. He had some great, great wins over people like Randy Couture. Uh, sadly, though, he's uh, been on a bit of a losing streak. His uh, last fight against Roy Nelson was uh, a very, very disappointing and brutal knockout. But hopefully against Stefan Struff uh, this weekend, he can do well. Just one other thing that bugs me before I get him opened up and out of packaging is uh, I think it's pretty clear you can see the two-tone paint scheme of this guy. The uh, body is obviously that darker Brazilian tan as opposed to his arms and legs and head, which are uh, a different color. That's one thing that with the early UFC figures, they tended to have... Uh, that two-tone problem. Uh, fortunately, with the later release figures, they uh, they did end up fixing that. This guy was also released as a Walmart exclusive with a slightly different box uh, as well. So let's get Minotaro Nogueira opened up and out of packaging. Very quickly taking a look at the back. His face, I think, looks very, very little like uh, the actual Minotaro Nogueira. I'll bring in um, the Pride face. You can see, obviously, it's very, very different. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's the, the most accurate rendition of his face, but uh, anyway, that's just, just my view. Other figures in the set, of course, Nate, uh, Mike Brown, and Antonio Nogueira. So uh, let's get him opened up and out of packaging. Okay, and here we have Minotaro Nogueira opened up and out of packaging. And he's actually not a bad figure. There's a few flaws uh, which uh, I will run through. I'll bring it forward so you guys can take a look at the face. Uh, honestly, I'll leave it to you guys to judge whether that looks like him or not. It does to an extent. Uh, it also doesn't to an extent. Um, it, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not amazing. Uh but it's not super awful. As you can see, the two-tone uh, paint with the chest, the head, and the arms there, uh, which is a little bit weird uh, and does detract from the figure somewhat. One thing that bugs me too is just the difference in paint apps. Uh, even on the joints, you can see obviously this darker plastic color, um, which is uh, a little annoying, especially compared to a lot of the other ones that had the more, um, uh, I guess, lighter joint tone, which uh, just helped, I think, with the overall visual appearance. Taking a look at the chunks, obviously, you see Minotaur and Nogueira's chunks there. Pretty accurate to, to how they were at UFC. Not, uh, not at 181. Uh, sorry, one at 81, but uh, at 73. Brief mental blank there for a moment. Um, but otherwise, not too bad. Not much else in the way uh, of this guy. He does have the standard UFC articulation, which means ball-jointed head, which is literally rock hard um, he's got the ball jointed arms the UFC unique arm uh, movement there 
He's got the swivel in the bicep, bend at the elbow, ball jointed wrists, swivel in the waist, the ab crunch. This guy's like super stiff with joints. Ball jointed legs, swivel in the thigh, swivel in the knee, double bend at the knee, and ball jointed ankles. So everything you want for a good MMA type figure to get a whole range of different positions and poses. So overall, not an amazing figure. Uh, honestly, if you're a big fan of Minotaro Noguera, then uh, yes, I'd say pick him up. Otherwise, definitely give this guy a miss. Uh, having said that, actually, even if you are a fan of uh, Minotaro Noguera, unless you're like a hardcore fan who loved him in Pride uh, and then uh, loved him in UFC, uh, then uh, you really don't need to get this guy. You're probably better off saving your money and trying to find this guy which uh, I think is just an amazingly awesome figure, which I will review hopefully after Nagera submits or knocks out Stefan Struve uh, at UFC 190 this weekend. Uh, hopefully that'll be a, a good fight. Uh, I'm just going to quickly run through some of my predictions for the, uh, the fight card. It looks like a really, really good fight card, which is something that uh, I'm keen for. 189 with uh, Conor McGregor. That was an excellent, excellent fight card which uh, I think is going to be very hard to top. Okay, so running through the main fight card, uh, the first main fight that we've got is uh, Gardella v. Uh, Agula, I think. Uh, two Brazilian girls. Uh, honestly, uh, I don't know anything about them, uh, so I don't think it's fair to make a prediction on that. Uh, having said that, I'm going to go with uh, Gardella just because I think I pronounced her name slightly better. Um, then we come to uh, Antonio Bigfoot Silva uh, versus Soa Pele, I think. Uh, I kind of want Bigfoot Silva, just because he's a, a beast and he's been on a really bad losing streak. That's someone who's lost his chin big time. But at the same time, um, Soa is Australian, so I'm slightly biased and I'm going to have to cheer for the hometown boy. So... Um, I'm going for uh, Soa in that one. Then we've got Stefan Struve versus uh, Minotaro Nogueira. Hands down, I want Nogueira to win. Um, definitely uh, a big fan of his. Struve doesn't do a lot for me. He is creepishly tall, but coming off that uh, destruction by Overeem, I, uh, I think Nogueira's uh, going to get this one, and I think he needs it uh, just to stay in the UFC and uh, hopefully go out on top. Then you've got uh, Lopez v... Uh, Vieira, I'm going to go for Lopez in that one. Again, don't know too much about those guys. Uh, Franca and Bruno, I'm going for Franca. Uh, and then the co-main event, this one I'm very excited for, Shogun Ruha. Um, good old Mauricio. I'm actually a big fan of his versus uh, Antonio Nogueira, the, the twin, brother, uh, twin brother of Minotauro. I'm going for Ruha in that one, just because I like him. Uh, as a fighter, I think he's fantastic. He uh, really hasn't been as dominant uh, as uh, when he was the light heavyweight UFC champion. Uh, hopefully, he can uh, have a good run. Slightly older in the division. Um, but I think, uh, you know, both guys are sort of past their prime. Uh, I reckon uh, Mauricio's got the, the edge. And then Ronda Rousey versus uh, Beth. Um, honestly, I don't think too many people are giving... Uh, Beth much hope. Um, she was ranked number seven. Magically overnight, she jumped up to rank four. So I think uh, Rousey's got another easy fight in the bag. And then hopefully she'll come to Melbourne and versus Misha Tate in what will be uh, hopefully a really epic fight. So that's my rundown on the uh, 190 fight card. Hopefully it's a great event. I'm looking forward to watching it and uh, hopefully giving you guys some more UFC figure reviews very soon.